Hi Virgo, welcome into your reading, welcome in, welcome in. Okay, so Virgo, we're going to do a quick short and sweet one. I'm sorry, I haven't done yours in a while. And yes, people are asking for Virgo readings. All right, so let's do the last week of April and see what's going on here for your situation. What's the situation for my Virgo's last week of April? Ace of Pentacles and the Fool. Okay, you're going to have an awesome new opportunity that's solid. Take it to the bank and cash it, guys, because it's like legit. This is either a relationship or a job. For a lot of you, it's a job. But for some strange reason, a lot of you feel stuck and trapped like you can't go towards it, but you are. You're going to take a leap of faith and a risk, and you're going to take this new solid opportunity, whatever it is, okay? All right, let's continue. But I do see you in the future feeling stuck and not wanting to be left out in the cold. Um, but it looks good. It looks promising, Virgo. What's coming towards my Virgos, please? Someone's going to rush in and communicate some sort of situation to you. Okay. Um, it's just a delivered message. And it's it comes quickly. This is what's coming towards you. It's something that you're trying to manifest. So it does have a thing. And again, I'm seeing the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck feeling stuck. Once again. Moving forward slowly and cautiously with a particular individual. You're trying to manifest a situation where you can rush in and communicate something here with somebody. That's what's coming towards you. What is the surprise here for Virgo? What don't they see coming their way? You're going to be put in this situation where you're going to feel vulnerable uh, emotionally guarded. You're not going to have answers. You're going to have nothing but like silence or big secrets because there's things going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of. Things that you can't imagine that they affect you, but they do. This could be even like somebody who has secrets to you and they're not revealing how they feel, but you're going to be put in a position because of that. Um, the time and energy you should invest in someone or that the time and energy that you have invested in someone. There's going to be a point where you're going to stalk out the situation and see what's going on there. Let's see. What is the advice here for Virgo, please? Eight of Cups and the King of Swords. The King of Swords is incoming energy that's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This air sign has been literally no other fucking king except this one has come out in the last five zodiac signs. This King of Swords is quite busy. Of course, it does not have to be an air sign. This is just somebody that is very cerebral, smart, analytical, um, just thinks more than they speak or tell you how they feel this person is very much in your advice position you need to think of your options which involve this individual for sure there are some challenges there are some roadblocks obstacles i don't know if it's to get into this situation with this person or because of this person excuse me we'll see when um we clarify what is the outcome for the week here for my Virgos? Your mind keeps traveling to the past of some sort and you have a little bit of stress and anxiety and some sleepless nights. It's the one thing that's holding you back. And then you have these moments where you think back to yourself and you have these happy moments. And it does have something to do with something traditional, which is your career, your marriage, things that you're committed to, things that you took orthodox steps to reach and achieve where you are today. All right, let me have one for outcome, please. You are going to have a second chance or an opportunity here with somebody. And it is only for the purpose of moving the dial of your life forward because the universe doesn't want us to stagnate. They don't want us to repeat cycles. They don't want us to make the same mistakes. They don't want us doing something over and over again. They want some sort of contribution from you to society or the betterment of your life because the betterment of you means the betterment for other people. It's like a trickle down effect. Okay, so we'll see what's going on because you do have something solid new. 
coming into your world. Let's continue. But I see some competition here. I do. I see some blocks, obstacles, and issues, whether you're fighting with somebody, competing with somebody, something in that nature. But I think you're, you're trying to manifest this situation where you can rush in and talk to somebody about something, and then it puts you in this place where you feel a little vulnerable So you, you because you don't know where you stand possibly. So you are debating something. And your nervousness is getting the best of you in a bit of a way. All right, what is this Ace of Pentacles and the Fool, please? You're, you're trying to remain positive and hopeful, so you're going in that direction. Um, there is somebody here, though. That's an Aquarius energy. The Fool is Aries, okay? And then I do see, finally, another king. Fire sign back here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody very passionate, very creative, very fiery, also in the upright position. Let's see. But you're remaining positive and hopeful towards this new opportunity. There is somebody in your energy sphere that is a fire. What is this Knight of Swords and the Magician? The Devil. Something is eating away at the back of your mind, Virgo. Okay, and you're weighing your pros and cons and now you're losing your mind over it or your hair or some shit. <laughs> because I ain't gonna lie, the devil is something obsessive, something that we are um, obsessed over thinking. But when we are like this, in this state of position, we're thinking to ourselves, am I good enough? Am I smart enough? Do I make enough of money? Blah, blah, blah. Will they like me? Will they not like me? Then you start weighing your pros and cons instead of just chilling out and waiting for results. There's something here where you felt like there might have been unrequited love or it wasn't for you. Now you're rethinking something. Now you're starting to see something from a different perspective that it might actually be abundant for you. Let's see. What is the seven of pentacles? The moon and... Okay. I'm like <laughs> the emotionally guarded card, nine of wands, death and ending. Now, mind you, these are the clarifiers and the moon. So there is an ending to something and a transitioning of another. Okay. Cause now I'm looking at the moon twice. All right. And there is some passionate new project that's coming up or a passionate new beginning here physically with somebody on an emotional level, more physical. Um, but you seem to, you're, you're going to be thinking and you're going to be wondering what you should be doing. What is your best option? Um, should you invest or not invest in this situation? Because something is coming to a close. Should. We've had all these fucking moons and these eclipses. Something has to eclipse in real life for something fresh and new to come in. All right, and then we had Mer Mercury in retrograde in Aries, which was like a volatile planet, Mars. Now it's going direct on the 25th. Things are going to be a little bit more clear, but right now they're very foggy. Uh, what is the Seven of Cups and the King of Swords? It's between two people, I suspect, because here's your King of Wands again, right next to your King of Swords. Who should I choose? What should I do? Which is the right person? Who should I trust? Who should I put my faith in? You will have an opportunity and you will see. Because now you are starting to see something or someone in an abundant light and in a different type of way. Interesting, Virgo. What is the wheel? I work with the Virgo. <laughs> I feel like they were like, wait a minute. <laughs> Just kidding. Um... You're worried about some sort of, you're worried about an ending. You're worried, I don't know, for some of you, maybe you're worried about losing your jobs. Uh, a new one at that. Others of you, you're worried about losing a relationship here with somebody. But there, maybe in the past you were betrayed. Maybe in the past you were stuck. But I think these are the things that are holding you back. There is some stress and anxiety that you're having regarding your past. Your mind keeps drifting back to that. Um, but you're going to have a second opportunity and a chance to rectify or deal with it. Okay? 
because right now you are stuck mentally stuck you think you can't get out but you can these are just weekly readings and that's what i see for just the last week of april so what are the romance those of uh, my virgos dealing with love what do you see here romance angels that i don't you have worth waiting for it's coming i suspect for you virgo you have a situation that's unfolding for you in one category of your life whether it's love or work it's working on that then when that's fine it's going to work on the other aspect for you that's why it's telling you in, in the world of love timing is everything do not let your mind drift to crazy places the idle mind is the devil's lair as they say okay so let's see what the wisdom house of night has for advice here i know this video was short i'm sorry i did cry, try to cram it in but i just needed to do it for you guys wisdom house of night for virgo please warrior i'm so happy this card came out for you because that's what you need right now you need motherfucking warrior spirit get it together guys you can do this get yourselves together warrior Let's read this bad boy together, shall we? My beloved child, when the warrior appears to you, it is such a fortunate sign that no matter what is happening in your life right now, you are truly protected, as I suspected. Um, whatever you're experiencing right now, all will be well. If your question is regarding love, this card represents someone who is deeply committed, protective, and kind to you. Interesting, because you have two energies of people here. Okay, friendship and love are sacred, and these qualities are important for a relationship to grow. If this person doesn't have these qualities, then move on, for I will send you someone with a true warrior spirit instead. Remember, life is about learning and discerning who is true and who is not. There's another message here to consider. Do you embody these qualities in yourself? Now is a good time to think about how committed you are to your path. All right, Virgo, this is what we got this week. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you on the next one.